a minute, wait. Nagme, dear, you're not playing according to the rhythm. You're playing way too fast. Please play something to the tempo. Okay, now, once again. Nagme, what did I just say? I told you to mind the tempo. Tell me, where is your head? Come on, from the top. That is still way too fast. Slower. The concert starts in less than one hour, and you have yet to show me you're ready. Hey, Mom, please. I am playing what's written there. Oh, come on, Nagmi. The music world is full of pianists who can only play what is written there. How will you stand out? We should feel your spirit in every stroke. <sighs> but you won't let me play, Mom, please. You're constantly interrupting me. Don't blame me for your incompetence. This is not my fault. You haven't rehearsed enough, Nagmi. People are not coming to watch an amateur. Hey, Mom, for God's sake, what are you saying? I have been rehearsing this concert for months now. Day and night, night and day... All I do is rehearse. You have no right to belittle me in this way. I have sacrificed so much for you, Nagme. Excuse me if I don't want to sit through nonsense. Now sit down and play. No, I refuse to, Mom. Enough already. I am so tired of this. You won't be able to appear before an audience unless you quit whining and do as I say. In that case, I won't. Where are you going, Nagme? Come back here. Come back here this instant. You will not embarrass me. I don't care about this concert. And I certainly don't care if you're embarrassed by me. Love me? Oh! <gasps> 
Mrs. Nagme, how are you feeling? <sighs> you have some cuts and bruises, but don't you worry, you'll feel better before you know it. Just relax and the doctor will be with you shortly. I was in an accident, wasn't I? Yes, you were involved in a serious car accident, but you weren't seriously injured. I crashed into someone. Nurse, are they okay? Please, relax a bit. It's not good to panic in this state. There was a man brought in with you, though, in the room over. He's on a mild sedative, sleeping off the effects, but he's in very good condition. You should also get some rest, my dear. Vaughn, what gives, dear? What are you doing here? I heard that Edger has come back from abroad. For goodness sake, let me see him, Ollie. It's been so long. Yes, Edger has come back. He has, I can tell you that. But he's not at home. Please don't lie to me. I know he's there. I know it. Why would I lie to you, my dear? Well, I don't believe you. Did he tell you to tell me this? Is that it? My dear, stop pestering me about this and be on your way already. I won't go a step further before I see Edger. Elvan? Elvan! Please, Ali, I beg you. I won't take up too much of his time. Did I they promise. drop you in your head as a baby? Huh? You need to get out of here right now. Get out of here. Scram! Ali, my friend. Wait a second. Don't send me away yet. Call Edger for me. Ali! What? What is happening there? Nothing. Nothing's happening. Now, as I said before, get going. Come on. Take your sister with you. Go on. Goodness gracious. Tell me, what on earth are you doing? Edger is back in town. I have to win my man back. It's none of your business. Leave it alone. Isn't it enough you've suffered because of Edger? When will you give up this childish love and grow up? Never, sister. I will never give up on this love. Not while I'm alive to love. You have gone absolutely mad, haven't you, Elvon? Did I or didn't I tell you Edger and I would sleep together? I did. And did I do so? I did. I need to cuff him because I'm not a floozy. Look at that house. Look at it closely. That house will become my home. And Edger and I are going to live happily ever after. Many Edgers will run across this grass. You will see. But how can this happen? You know that they're coming to ask for your hand today. I'm not going to marry that idiot, Fayez. If I have to, I'll bolt in the night. But we'll never lay in the same bed. I'm dropping everything because all that matters is my Edger and our future together. Believe me, I have paid for my mistakes. I've spent nights crying into my stupid pillow. Are they all in vain, then? Huh? It's not even tempur Do what you want, you always do. But I'll only tell you this once. You have no idea the pain you'll go through. Elvan, come back here! Elvan! I said come back! Are you okay? Oh, son. My son. Oh, no. Dear, what happened? Esther. Esther, can you hear me, son? Please wake up. Esther, oh, poor dear, what happened? What happened to you? Esther, please wake up, son. Oh, please, Esther, show me you can hear me, son. Samal. Why isn't he answering me? Do something. Hey, Mom, please, you must calm down. Calm down now, please. Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down, won't you? I spoke with the okay, doctor, right. and he said if it was really serious, they wouldn't let us uh, all into the room, now would they, Mommy? Oh. Please don't worry, ma'am. Your son is doing fine. They gave him a sedative. He's just sleeping it off. Who are you? I know you're not a nurse, honey. I just spoke with the nurse, and she told me so herself. And who are you exactly? Well, 
Your son was in the accident because of me. Uh. My phone was ringing, and while I was looking at the phone, my eyes veered off the road. I hit him before I even noticed. They should have never allowed Mama. you on the road! Mama! I'm so sorry, I only looked away for a moment. Is that right, only for a moment? What if something bad happened to my son? What if he became permanently disabled? Please don't get so angry, please. You think I wanted this to happen? It was just a moment of distraction, I promise, please. It get was... out of here, just get out! Get please, out, I am son. so sorry. Get out! I did not see your Lock son! Me. Lock me! What is happening? Why are you shouting at my daughter? Your daughter almost killed my son. My daughter wouldn't hurt anyone on purpose. She didn't mean to do it, as befits the name accident. Don't you see how sorry she is? You're about to cross the line, you hear me? Now take your daughter and get out of You're here. You're crossing the line. Your disrespect disgusts What's me. happening here? What is this noise? This is a hospital, not a soap opera. You're right, we should leave. It's not worth it, putting up with these imbeciles. You are the imbecile. And the world doesn't need you. Please, everyone, I need you to leave. She can't call me an imbecile. She can't. The reason of our visit is obvious. We want your sister to marry our son Fayaz with the promise of the Prophet and under the command of our God. I've known Fayaz for many years, and I've never seen him make a mistake. Yeah, and now that he finally has a job to support his wife. I approve this marriage of Alvan and Fayaz. So we have a deal, baby. Mazel tov, Mrs. Durdan. Our children are marrying. Good luck with it. Alvan! Wait, son. She must be embarrassed. You know she's very young. I'll speak with her. Nothing to worry about. I'm so sorry. It's my fault you're in this situation. I cannot tell you how sorry I am that this happened. Your mother came in and she was upset. And I had nothing to say. I know how much she's worried about you. Your family's huge, and I can tell they care about you. I wish I had a family at my bedside, too, you know? It's just been me and my mother for many years now. Do you know how long I've dreamed of having a family as big as yours? Oof, I'm talking such nonsense again. 
talk all the nonsense you want. I like it. Is it me or are all these beds made of rocks? Uh, uh, oh. Wait a second, I... I thought... You were knocked out on painkillers? Did you hear everything I was just saying? I did. You totally almost killed me. It was an accident. I'm so sorry, you have no idea. There's no need to apologize anymore. But do you forgive me? You have to. Under one condition. You agree to have a cup of coffee with me. What is your name? Nagme. And yours? Edgeter. Please make sure the information is accurate on these forms. Let's get going.
Sukran. What is this table? Where are the pastries? Isn't the yes, stew ready? It is ready, my lady. It is ready. I even poured my famous sweet sherbet, ma'am. It'll cool by the time the guests arrive. What's the situation with these forks and knives? Go quickly and bring out the silver set. Our guests deserve the very best. Uh, goodness sake, watch out, Tahir. Haven't I told you not to walk around the house without my permission? Now go to your room. Get out of my sight, otherwise I will give you the beating you deserve. She just stood there right in front of me, judging me as if I was in the wrong doing a mother's job. Parents these days don't know how to raise a child properly. Sefika, did you take your medicine? Control yourself. Don't cause any problems on such an important night. Oh, son. <laughs> Father, my dear sweet mother. Oh, is that liver? Ah, hands off my son. That is not for you. We have very important guests this evening. And who exactly are these important guests? Kudret Soilu and his daughter. But mom, why are Kudret Soilu and his daughter coming now? If they want to come, I'm not going to stop them. We will just have a conversation. And you should also see this girl of theirs. Don't say I didn't warn you. When you see her, you'll fall for her. She's a sight for sore eyes, proper and respectful, but quite attractive. I don't understand how many more times I have to tell you. I don't want to marry that girl. Why are you so stubborn? I'm not telling you to marry her tomorrow, but don't rule anything out, my dear. Forgive me, but I won't be joining you for dinner this evening. I have other things to do with wait, my time. Wait, boy, wait. Ugh. Looks like it'll take more than words to convince Edge Dare. You're only pushing him further and further away. Now you listen. Everyone who's anyone is talking about this marriage. This marriage is all they want to talk about. So if this arrangement doesn't end happily, it'll be us who pays. Kudrit's uncle is going to drop us like a hot plate. They're coming within a half an hour. What are we going to tell them? How can we explain to them that Edgedare wasn't able to attend? Enough, Sefika. I don't want to hear another word. I will find a solution like I always do. Congratulations to you, Durdan. God's following you and everyone around can see it. You're finally marrying away your daughter. She's ready to be a wife. Thanks be to the divine. And may your daughter's happiness be your own. I hope so. Same to all the unwed daughters. Oh, be kind, won't you? I'm hungry. Let's get some food, girls. You two have been so wonderful. I'll be happy to join you. Hey, girl. Hmm? Is there any news from Edgeter? With you, it's Edgeter this and Edgeter that. Dude, you are marrying Fayez, that's it. Are you listening to me? Everything else is in the past. I love Edgeter. I love him and only him. And I will die loving him, you hear me? Don't you care what your brother thinks? What is he going to do if he finds out you're still not over him? Listen, babe, you and Edgeter will never be a thing. Mrs. Barrack had made her choice. They've already decided Soilu's daughter is his wife. And the wedding is soon. Darling, wake up. Okay? And I'm sure that Safika's already agreed to it. You know she's his aunt's daughter. You are lying to me. Why on earth would I lie? Because if there was going to be a marriage, don't you think he would have told me already? Believe it or not, that is the truth. And not just gossip. The families are meeting tonight to arrange it all. Listen. By hook or by crook, I will find out the truth. Huh? That's enough, Elvan. Stop dreaming that the two of you are meant for each other. You must make peace with the fact that Ejder is not for you. Husbands find their wives and yours is Feyaz. Feyaz wants to be with you and he'll treat you right. And he accepts you. He'll be your mate until you die. Learn to love him. If I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pass up this chance. Your only way out of this misery is to let Feyaz marry you. Get this into that thick skull of yours. Otherwise, we'll all pay for your mistakes.
Nagme, dear, here are your tickets. You'll leave first thing in the morning. Everything should be in order. Oh, my nerves cannot take any more of this. Sure thing, Mother. Uncle Eshder, what are you doing here? Did something happen? I'm just a little out of sorts. Why is that? Too much to say. Who's that? That is a very special person. Why is she special? Well, let's see here. She is both good and bad. And, uh, more than I can ever describe. I think you're in love with her. I know what love looks like. Tahir! Where are you? Come back here this I'll instant. be right there! Nagme, dear? Are you sad because we won't be going together? I'm just a little bit nervous is all. I'm going to a city I've never been to and I'll be all alone with nobody to talk to, Mother. <laughs> you have nothing to worry about. You'll make friends in no time, my dear, that I'm sure of. Oh, sweet Nagme. My dearest daughter, who's not only my daughter, but my best friend, the best friend a mother could have, or anyone for that matter. I will, I'll miss you so much, my dear, but your future is much more important than you realize. You have worked hard and were accepted by the Paris Conservatory. You have made your childhood dream come true. It was never my dream, Mom, it was yours. Your father's about to arrive. He's with Julia, so he'll be late. I can't believe he's coming with his girlfriend. Oh, she's so obvious. I don't understand her motives for coming. Does she know we don't want her here? You'd think she'd get a clue. But Farouk, Farouk has always been this way, making other people's lives easier while making ours difficult. He will never change, never, never, never. Hey, Mom, do you think I could go out with my friends one last time, you know, after visiting my father? You want to go out with your friends? I thought you and I were going to have some mother-daughter time. I just thought it would be disrespectful if I didn't. And I won't be that late, Mom. I'll just say some quick goodbyes and come back. Why do you have to go to them? Can't they come over here so you guys can say your final goodbyes? But they can't, Mom. They've already made reservations elsewhere. Have they now? Mom, I'm sorry. Please don't be angry with me. It'll just be a few hours, I promise. I didn't have time to say goodbye to any of my friends. I've been doing nothing but practicing even on my last day. Okay. Just don't be late. Be back at 10 o'clock sharp. 10 o'clock on the dot. Thank you so much. <laughs> This is the end. After tonight, we go our separate ways. And tomorrow, I'm leaving to make my mom's dumb dream come true. And what about your dreams? Who's gonna make those dreams come true? You will, Nagme. Come away with me. Nagme, I've fallen in love with you. And I know everything between us has happened so quickly. But I've never felt like this with anyone. 
Nagme, I love you. Edge there. And I do not want to lose you. You can't go. I know I've just found you. I know that. I know this seems crazy, but... I just can't give up on this. I just can't. You know why? I mean, we're both going through it. On the one hand, there's our family's wishes. And on the other hand, our own wishes. And by wishes, I mean our dreams. All I dream about night and night again is your beautiful gaze. Everything about you I dream of. I'm always thinking about you. You're always running up and down my head no matter how hard I try to get you out. I know we can overcome anything. I know we can overcome anything together. And we can make each other's dreams come true, together. Believe me, together we can do anything, baby. I just can't. I just can't edge there. This is the license plate on the car that will take you. This, this is the driver's phone number and the company's phone number that the car belongs to in case there is an accident. Dear, I'm sorry, am I boring you? If you are standing by because your flight Lost in thought, are we? You are always off dreaming, aren't you? Are you having an affair, perhaps? Well, it looks like you are. No, Mom, I know what it looks like, but I've been listening. Here, this is your passport. These are your credit cards and debit cards. These are the addresses of my dearest friends. And the key code to the house that you'll be staying in. Thanks a lot, Mom. I think I can take it from here. Unless you want to go for me. <sighs> Nog, May. That's quite enough, Nevin. She's an adult now. She can handle herself just fine. Flight 401 is boarding. Flight Fair enough. Flight 401 is boarding now, but we'll be holding the plane longer than usual to accommodate anyone who has decided to visit oh, my our dear wonderful dear cafe and gift shop. I will miss you so much. I hope everything goes according to plan. Take care of yourself, okay? Hug for your Attention daughter? Attention passengers. Attention passengers. Due to unstable, unstable weather, weather conditions, conditions, we are experiencing delays in our baggage claim department. My dear Nagme, you know I'm so proud of you. Safe journey on your travels. That means a lot to me, Dad. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. We have to get going, Nevin. Let the baby girl fly now. Come on now. Wait. Me. 
Editor, I can't believe that you're here. Please don't go. I love you more than you know. You cannot go. We can't give up on this, Nagme. But I am afraid, Editor. I'm afraid if I stay, we'll find out this magic was never real. It's magic. And what we have is real. Nobody can stop our love. Nothing can destroy what we have. Don't go. Stay here and marry me. This is the only thing I'll ever need to be happy. Then yes. <laughs> Sen benimsin, meleğimsin, dile gelmez şiirimsin. Sen benimsin, nefesimsin, şu dünyada yüzümü güldüremsin. I do. Sen benimsin, benimden edemsin, her şiirimsin. Let's go. We'll find your mom and deliver the good news. I don't think that's a great idea. She has her own agenda for me. I'll speak with her later. Okay. Let's go to our house then. Okay. So this is where you live, huh? No, this is where we will live from now on. We have nothing to worry about. Everything will be better than we could have ever imagined. Uncle Eshdir is finally here! Everyone look! Uncle Eshdir is finally here! Dad, look! Uncle Eshdir is finally here! Uncle Eshdir is back, everyone! Oh! And he also brought his girlfriend. Welcome back, Uncle Eshger. Welcome back. Thank you for the welcoming, little man. Back down now. Back down. Uh-oh. Isn't that the same girl who crashed into Edgedare? Who brought this floozy onto my property? Huh? This is my wife, Mother. It's a pleasure to see you again, ma'am. I know that this is a surprise for you, but believe us when we say that we didn't plan on falling in love. Everything just happened so fast. Hey, Mom. Listen! How can you do this to me? Do you have any regard for my feelings? My dearest Sultana, 
If I didn't care about you, would I bring her to receive your blessing, huh? It doesn't make a difference to me after everything that's happened. And I certainly didn't raise you like this. You have forgotten your morals, land, and traditions. Shame on you for bringing such a blight upon your family's name. You're way out of line. Hmm. Uh, you have accepted her as your wife, so what else can I do? And I know you hope one day we'll all live in perfect harmony. But I promise you that that day will never come, my son. I have no other words. Mom, please. Well, this is the surprise of the century. Can you understand that? The girl who nearly kills her son is now his wife. You'd be rattled too, right? Just give it some time. My mom will come to her senses soon. Come on. Let me show you to our room. Ejda! Ejda! Can we have a little chat before you go? Simone. Now's not the time. Matter of fact, I think it's the perfect time. I think you owe us all an explanation, Edgedare. Don't worry about a thing, Edgedare. I'd be happy to show your new wife around. I won't be long, I promise. Let me officially welcome you to the family. My name is Safika. I am the wife of Edgedare's older brother. That would make me your sister-in-law. And over here, these are my children, Tahir and Daphne. And I assume you too are Edgedare's aunt? She is Alice's wife. And who is this? This is someone you don't need to know. Right now. Sukran! Prepare the room, won't you? They'll need clean towels and change the sheets. Our guest must be tired from her traveling. She will need to get some rest. Right away, ma'am. I'll tidy up the bride's room now. Sukran! You will leave that room alone. That room wasn't made for some whore off the streets. It's for a bride worthy of our name, one I can get behind. In other words, it will be forever vacant. <laughs> 